Hi, I'm going to make this a brief video as I'm not sure how much interest there's going to be, but what I'm going to use is the Pico scope to measure how fast that this spur gear is going to rotate. I'm using uh, an emitter detector pair, infrared, and I'm using an op amp to clean up that signal and I'm going to probe here, so that's the frequency I'm going to measure. I've got two channels enabled on the Pico scope software so I can monitor the voltage to the motor here and I can also monitor the frequency of the output here. The light source going that way actually is going to shine through these holes. One complete revolution of this, that's going to be eight pulses. If I then divide that by eight, that's going to give me the one rotation or how many rotations per second. So divide by eight and then multiply by 60 and that gives me the RPM. Okay, so if you watch the red trace, you'll see the voltage increase into the motor. And it's quite noisy, it's not the motor, it's the spare gear, so I'm not going to do it too fast for the moment. You'll see down, down here we've got just, just over half a volt supplied to the motor. And you can see that we're measuring a frequency of these pulses here at about 40 hertz. So let's just speed this up a little bit. In fact, yeah, let's, let's speed it up. So about 3 volts there. Put triggering on. Like that. Let's just stop the motor. When we got to 3 volts, there was a frequency of 488. So that's easy now. So we've got 488 divided by 8, because remember, like I said earlier, there's 8 of those holes per 1 revolution. So that gives me 61 revolutions per second. Multiply that by 60 seconds gives me 3,660 RPM. So let's, let's just try this once more, but um, I'm conscious that it's very noisy uh, due to these spur gears. And in fact, you could even measure the frequency like that if you wanted to. But uh, let's, let's step up the voltage again. Get rid of triggering or go on auto triggering. It's a four and a half volt motor, so I took it to uh, close to four and a half volts there. Got a frequency of 682 that time. So 682 divided by 8, 85 times 60. So I've got just over 5,000 RPM at four and a half volts.